Welcome back, boys and girls. Now we're going to be working on our writing for today. You're going to need your writer's notebook. You're going to need your name at the top and also the date. You are not going to need a line today. We're going to draw something different. So go ahead and grab your notebook, your pencil, get your name on your paper. And the date is 2-8-21. And then come back and join me. Okay, today we're going to be doing what we call a sentence frame. So I picked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve lines, and I went right across, or right down, I'm sorry, right down the red line, and then I followed right along the blue line till I got to the other red line and then I went back up and right straight across that line. If you can do that, your box should look pretty amazing and we will be ready to write in it. Okay, we are going to be writing about mole and bird. From our story, you can remember that at the end of the book, it says, birds are meant to fly, said Mole. He opened the cage door and he let his bird fly away because he loved it. Then he cried. So we're going to make a sentence frame about bird and mole. And we're going to write how each of them felt. So for right now, just put your pencils down. I want you to listen and watch. And we're going to chat a little bit. And then I'm going to have you write. So first of all, we're going to talk about bird. How do you think bird was feeling? feeling at this part of the story. Can you tell your neighbor or someone at home in a quiet voice, how do you think Bird felt at this part of the story? All right, I bet you had some great answers. So we are going to write about how bird feels. So pencils are still down. Hang on a minute. All right, I'm going to start with a capital letter because that's how we start all of our sentences. And we're going to write bird feels. And then I'm going to put this line next to it with a period. All right, you may pause the video at this point and you may write bird feels, I forgot my S, bird feels, then put your line and your period and then come back and join me. All right, so Bird could be feeling a lot of different things and I'm not exactly sure what you shared with your neighbor, but the word that comes to my mind is Bird feels free. He's not in that little cage anymore in the dark where he can't move, he's free. So I am going to write the word free on my line. You can pick whatever word you thought of that Bird was feeling at this part in the story. Remember, you put the sounds that you hear and stretch that word out. 
All right, so I'm going to write mine, and you go ahead and write yours. So now I'm going to go back and reread my sentence to make sure it makes sense. Because just like a few minutes ago, I forgot that S. If I hadn't reread it, I would have gone, wait, that's not right. So I caught it a couple minutes ago. But that's why we reread our work. So I have my capital. It says bird feels free. And how did I end it? with a period. Actually, I bet he felt like an exclamation point. But if you want to put a period, that's okay too. So that's how Bird felt. Now let's put our pencils down. And I want you to turn to your partner, your neighbor, or someone at home, and tell them how you think Moel was feeling at this part of the story. All right, I bet you had some great answers. Let's see if yours matches mine or if you thought of something different. And if you think of something different, that's amazing. It's okay because we all have different things that we think about. So leave your pencils down for a minute. I am going to give myself one space that I'm not gonna use, and then I'm gonna use my capital M for mole. And I'm gonna use the same word feels. Mole feels. And you can put that line and the period. All right, you may go ahead and write that. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, what did you tell your partner or your neighbor? What word did you use? This is the word that came to my mind. Because he was crying, we can tell that he was sad. But if you thought of a different word, that's okay. So I'm gonna write the word Sad. I bet you can write that word with me. Let's spell it together. S, S A A D D. All right. So this is going to be my word. You can use this word or you can write one of your own. So just like with the sentence above, we're going to go under it. We're going to check it, make sure we have a capital letter. We're going to make sure that it makes sense. Mole feels sad, period. Or once again, you could put an exclamation mark because I bet he felt really, really sad that he had to let his friend go. But he was showing his bird that he loved him by letting him free. All right, if you have enough time, you may draw a picture down below. Maybe you can put both bird and mole or whatever you would like to for your picture. But remember, our illustration needs to match our words. 
we're going to end with there for today. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.